Hey, Willow. Go get in the box. Nope. Come here, Willow. Get in the box. Nope. <clears throat> Willow, get in the box. Yes, stay. Good. Wait for me. <laughs> guys, it's Oksana with Craft and More Design. Thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. So for those of you guys that have watched my other video, ways to get started with your online business, it's posted right here in the link above. I talked about using the Dymo label printer and the Rolo label printer. So today I'm gonna give you a brief overview of just how to use it, quick setups, and um, just some easy, easy troubleshooting so that you can use it when you need it for your sh online shipping business. Between these two items, I would say definitely get the Rolo printer. It is a little bit more expensive, but it will actually save you money in the long run. So when you purchase the Rolo printer, you will also need to purchase some labels and um, really, really easy to put in. And you will use this for all of your shipment orders from here on out. So with the Rolo printer, um, it does come with two different cables. So on the back, you will go ahead and just plug it in, super easy. And here is where the off and on button is. So just turn it on and you will see the button turn green. And this is also where you put your label printer in to feed through. So make sure the top part is what you enter in directly. It will recognize the paper and then you are ready to go ahead and start printing. Now, if you are not doing more heavier shipment items, you're just shipping envelopes, notes, letters, or simply just labeling your packaging, I would say the Dymo label printer is probably the better option for you. With the Dymo label printer, you will also need some label prints, and they come like this, so really easy to install, but you definitely will need some of these with, with your um, Dymo label printer when you purchase online. So when it comes to a Dymo label printer, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'll show you how to, how to do it. So it also comes with two cords, so go ahead and plug those in. All right, and then you'll open it up. And this machine automatically turns on. If you peek inside, it will actually show you step-by-step step how to put your labels in. But you'll take the plastic piece, and there is an arrow of how to put it in, so go ahead and just put it in directly all the way to the very end, and take the little top piece and close it. Oh, make sure it's the right size. Go ahead and close it in. And then you will go ahead and just put it directly into the machine, super easy. And it's gonna look like it's backwards, but this is actually the correct way, so the front has to be on the bottom. So feed it through and it will recognize it. Once you get your label printers in, go ahead and take that plastic piece and match it to the end. And you can actually purchase different size labels. You can even print postal stamps. So this one, just make sure you match it to your size. Um, another little fun feature is this will print your item and this will actually reverse it if you want to take it back. Um, last item to recognize is this little plastic black piece. This will actually take the whole thing out if you do need to troubleshoot for any reason. And with a Dymo printer, you can print with this open or closed. Obviously, I would say protect your uh, Dymo label maker and just keep it closed. But this comes with an online software that you'll install into your computer. And um, you can print directly through your computer and it will go ahead and do exactly what you say, which is super cool. So there you have it. These will all be posted in the links below, so be sure to check it out whether you're going with this option or the first one that I mentioned earlier. Keep in mind, if you are using a Mac or Apple product, you will need a lightning cable so that you can plug in your USB ports into that in order to use the online system. So I hope this helps. I know it can be really intimidating and overwhelming um, starting an online business and maintaining it. So hopefully this helps you get started, but thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and comment below. Tell me your thoughts, tell me 
um, which one you prefer if you do use these items or any other questions that you may have. So thank you again.